There's nothing better than a chocolate birthday cake and these simple tips will bring joy to family and friends time and time again. This will take your chocolate cake to the next level. First up, you want to get some layering going. This is going to make your cake really special and it's so simple to do. Now we've all had cakes that have come out of the oven with a few cracks or they've risen unevenly. The baker's tip is to level the top off first and then this hides any mistakes and makes for some really great snacks for the family. Mark the sides, do this with a knife the whole way around the circumference of the cake and then cut cleanly through the centre. Gently lift the top, support it with your hands underneath and straight onto the cake plate. Now it's easy to get some chocolatey goodness into the centre of the cake and this is what the fudgy chocolate icing is perfect for. I'm using a piping bag because it's great practice and it also means that the centre of the cake is an even thickness. Take the bottom layer of the cake, flip it over so there's a nice smooth surface and it goes onto the icing. To finish this cake, I like to decorate it with the Cadbury Bourneville Cocoa Icing because it's a beautiful contrast to the rich fudgy centre. Cover the cake carefully with icing using a palette knife, a spatula or a butter knife if you don't have any of the others. Remember your icing has to be at room temperature, otherwise it's not going to spread onto the cake. I always start with the icing on the top of the cake. I start to push it out to the sides gently and turn the cake stand at the same time. When you've covered the sides, maybe you don't want a perfectly flat top. That does take time and you need to set the cake in the fridge and come back to it with a hot knife. There's no time for this today, so I'm going to gently use my palette knife to create a swirl pattern, continue to turn the cake and always bring the swirl into the centre. Now to decorate the top and make it that little bit more special, I like to do some beautiful piping. It does take time and practice though, so the key is to have a full bag, have it nice and tight and then a beautiful even pressure between your hand squeezing and you lift the icing off the cake. A cheats way to decorate the sides if you don't have the time to play with a piping bag is to take a bowl of crushed Cadbury flake and press it in while the icing is still soft. And there you have it, an amazing chocolate cake fit for a celebration.